I was scrolling through YouTube shorts a few days ago and I saw this video. I actually know who the next one is. <gasps> How do you know? How do you know? A YouTube short that was posted on Sirena's second channel titled New Asian Leak. And the video was posted on the 18th of December 2022. So over seven months ago. And I noticed that I have already liked the video, meaning I've already watched it. So I couldn't help but wonder why would YouTube Short recommend a video that I already watch. So I decided to check her channel out, or her second channel to begin with. And I saw that was the last video that she ever posted on her second channel. So I was like, hmm, what happened? Why did she stop? Did she quit? And to answer that question, I went to her main channel. And on her main channel, I found out that her last video was posted four months ago on Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, 2023. And she hasn't uploaded since then. But why? Did she take a break? Is it a short break? Is it a long break? Or did she quit completely? Well, to answer those questions, I went on a journey to find the answers. There are two main reasons why a YouTuber would quit. One, the channel isn't doing well, so they look for a real job to do instead. Two, personal problems in life. Let's look at Tirena's channel. Her channel was doing really well. Videos were getting over 150k views, sometimes even breaking 300 views. And on her YouTube short channel, some videos even got 2 million views. So the reason that she quit was probably because of her personal life. The first thing I did was to go to the comment of the latest video that she posted, which was I competed in a Valentine's tourney. That was when I saw all of the comments, I mean almost all of the comments, was about this being her last video. So there are people that knows what was going on. But I could not find a reply from her that explains the situation. Well, some said she quit because she lost someone important to her and she regretted streaming too much and not spending time with you know who. But that was just a comment. I could not trust that. I need a source. So the next thing I did was I went to YouTube and searched for what happened to Sirena. To my surprise, nothing was there. Nobody made a video about her disappearance. So that was when my YouTube brain clicked in. I thought to myself, I had to get to the bottom of this so that I can post this video. Well, since YouTube did not help me at all, I went to other platforms. That was when I went to her Discord server and to find out that it was gone, completely gone. I could not join it, she deleted the, her entire Discord channel, she could have changed it to something else, but I could not find a link to her Discord channel, so who knows what happened to that. The next thing I went to is Twitter, her Twitter account, but it was deleted, the account was inactive. At this point, I was about to give up. Nothing seems to be working. She deleted her Discord server, she deleted her Twitter, she did not explain anything on her YouTube, I even went to the community post, but nothing was found there either. So I went back to the first place that I started this whole investigation. That was when I found the comment that was crucial to this investigation. In fact, 77 says she posted on her Twitter telling us why. I'm pretty sure it was on a Google document before she deleted her Twitter too. That comment gave me hope. So I went to a website called Wayback Machine to see if I could find any safe version of her latest tweet about her disappearance. So it turns out that her Twitter profile has been saved five times between September 5th, 2022 and March 15th, 2023. So I went to that version to see if her Twitter still existed. But this is what I saw. Something went wrong, try reloading. 
I clicked on retry and the same thing popped up. I had no choice but to go to the previous version of her Twitter profile that has been saved. And her profile is still here. But her latest tweet was not anything related to her disappearance. So the Wayback Machine did not work for me. At this point, I did not know what to do. But I did not give up. This was when I searched on Google about what happened to Sirena that I found something useful. Here I found a tweet longer by Sirena about her disappearance. Well, you see, Tweet Langa is not a part of Twitter. It's a separate website that allows people to, well, you know, tweet longer. So it doesn't matter that her account on Twitter is deleted or not, this post will always remain. Now, you guys can pause the video to read the tweet because I will not be reading through all of this, but I will be summarizing it she's telling us why she's quitting content creation and that's because she wanted to focus on herself and by creating content she has developed this unhealthy habit of just focusing on content creation and neglecting those around her those important to her until she lost somebody close to her which she does not mention who it was but she lost somebody important to her. And that was when she realized that she has gone too far into content creation. She has been focusing too much on content creation that she did not spend enough time that she would like with those important to her in her personal life. She also mentions that she enjoy content creation but not to the full extent of what it was. But yeah, now you know what happened to Sirena. We don't know if she is going to come back or not. She does not mention if she is quitting forever or not. She just says that she quit, which can mean both. You know, you can quit and come back. You can quit forever. We don't really know, but yeah. That was my investigation about what happened to Sirena. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and tell me who I should investigate. Who or what I should investigate next. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. She also mentioned... She... And she also meant... And... And she also... Oh my god, why can I not say also?